Hey everybody, Bobby Brown here, Guns and Drums, with a little range review. Pre-dawn death had tagged some folks wanting to see your range. This is Bobby Brown's. You'll see a array of steel figures that were cut out years ago. Um, the muscle man and the stop sign and the little chicky. At one time I had four chickies, four pigs, four turkeys, and four rams back in the day. Uh, and this steel's 30 years old or more and, and it just got shot all to hell. Um, this is a recent addition. And once again the figures are all really old. Some of them have holes shot in them. Unfortunately the bases are shot off some of them. Now this round these round knockdowns, Albatross 497 cut those out for me and I really really appreciate those. I like knockdowns. They're fun. You get some exercise. You get to see that instant hit result. So this is Bobby Brown's range. Like I say, all the new square steel and round steel here, this heavy plate is recently been donated by Albatross 497 but the old figures uh, I just well this is how the story goes a friend of mine worked at Lyco a company in New Jersey in Freehold I do believe and they had a machine I forget the name of it that could cut that steel so he just got crazy and started cutting things and he traced his hand and there was a guitar that I won't shoot because I don't want to bend it up. There was a lot of neat, neat little things, and I've been shooting them for a long time. I have some swingers here that are just attached by wire and frequently have to be restrung like that turkey. But some of the bases have been shot off over the years. Here's a good example. There's a, a base of something. So then I had to use them for other things. Like swing, uh, like hanging them as swingers. So there you go. There's my main range, and then over here we have a couple heavy plate, but not really tough steel because they have holes shot in them as well. You know, I like to use the ties for frag control, and they really do work. But these, the story goes, uh, they were cut out for the Homedale. New Jersey Police Department and I acquired two of those here's another one and he's been shot all over real bad I know this is a this selfie stick isn't the way to go but I just I'm actually hitting the road with the band headed to Virginia somewhere up around Lynchburg to play two gigs ten days after hernia surgery Bobby Brown on the move so you can step back and really have a nice whack at these these guys love this love this and I have a few targets uh, out in the woods uh, sometimes out here in the yard it's really hot sun shining so I'll take, I'll take up some of the steel and head to the woods. I can also shoot paper back there. Come on, I'll show it to you. Also on the premises, I keep a couple barrels for cover shooting and running and gunning type stuff. They're also really handy tables. They also work really great as tables and stands and throw a blanket on them, shoot from them, over them, around them. The barrels are really handy here at the Bobby Brown compound. Now out here in the woods, I will occasionally detonate some tannerite and things of that nature. A nice tree backstop here where I can put paper and or other things. I also suspend, I have a suspension bar here for my shotgun detonation and I will occasionally 
hang jugs and blast them with the shotgun. And of course I don't go anywhere without my dog. Cletus has cameoed in every video that Bobby Brown has made since Bobby Brown started making videos. And he's a super puppy. So back here I have the bell as well. I know that rhymes. But this is just a, some of you have seen it, it's just a barrel. And I have suspended and I shoot uh, from 20, 10, 20 yards. No big deal. That pretty much covers the back side of the compound. Of course I can run and gun through the woods and do other things here. I'm very fortunate to have a little space. It's not as country as you would think. Some of you have probably seen my drone footage where I go straight up out of the compound. You can see that I live out in the woods <laughs> the way I like it. But I do have neighbors and I do have to be careful. I just can't be launching bullets all over the place and I try to stay cognizant of that and use backdrop and proper trajectory. So that takes care of the back of the compound. Let's head to the front of the compound now. And as we're walking um, and talking, I uh, just, I have the greatest neighbors in the world. Uh, most of them are my relatives, cousins of mine. And the guy out here at the end of the road is an army veteran. Great, great guy, grew up right here. Um, and he doesn't mind my shooting. Uh, I don't shoot early morning. Sunday morning, you're not going to hear me at 6 a.m. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. So, uh, yeah, I'm very fortunate. Bobby Brown's range is off the hook. I can step out my door and shoot anytime I want. Okay, the front of the house are three swingers that I've had for a long time. You can see that the frame is completely shot to pieces, um, but they still swing. And they're still fun to shoot. And a little further up there in the woods, haven't been out here much this year because of critters and ticks and whatnot. But right there, there's a couple swingers up there in the woods. And these are usually shot from inside my carport when it's raining. So this is kind of like my rain range. And last but not least, I have one swinging off the end of the porch here where I can actually get right here on the edge and fire at that swinger. And there she is right there. Nice swinger. I know it's out of focus. Bobby Brown range really only has about 50 yards of workable shooting space so it's more like a good pistol range or a small bore rifle I do shoot rifles and stuff here but uh, I don't have a, a long stretch to shoot about 50 yards is all I'm gonna get right here in the backyard which is where Bobby Brown's shooting range is now there are local ranges here and and great places to go shoot but it's just too much of a hassle for me um, I guess if I couldn't shoot in my backyard or out of my bathroom window for that matter I probably would go to a range but I probably wouldn't shoot as much either I mean because when the urge strikes you don't want to look you, you don't want to load up you know I can just walk out in the backyard and shoot I'm not blowing my own horn I'm just saying there are a lot of great places right around my house to shoot but I don't I just shoot right here at the Bobby Brown compound from sunny Virginia Hope you enjoyed the range review. Bobby Brown, Guns and Drums. Keep it pointed in a safe direction.